Hi, you're looking at InfoSwim Sustain, and I'm Bob Dickinson of InnoVice. And what we're going to talk about here is how to compare the uh, optimized solution that InfoSwim Sustain found for your LIDs to the base condition. So if you remember, um, after you run the model, or after you run the optimization, you come over here to Performance Report, find out if it um, met your criteria, and then you can apply to InfoSwim. You click on Info, Apply to InfoSwim, it will apply all those um, LID, optimized LIDs that, that have found to, um, to the LID controls. You can check on what LID controls are being used by going to Edit and looking at subcatchment LID usage and it has all the different um, usages for the different uh, subcatchments. So there's quite a few um, small sand filters, uh, rain barrows, and, um, and pavements there. So when you go ahead and run the model then, we'll, we'll have two different scenarios. We're going to have a no LID and the base with the LID. So we'll go ahead and run this using a running man. So it ran, it's a pretty small model. And now we can go and we could look at <coughs> We can look at the, the pre and post um, subcatchment flow. So, no L LID is, is green, so there's a lot higher peak by about um, 50, uh, 50 CFS with, without an LID. So, the LID reduces the peak and reduces the, um, the flow, flow somewhat by about 85%. So, that's how you do the um, comparison. So, you export your, your uh, data back to um, InfoSwim, your LID controls that you that you found in Siting Manager, and then you optimize using the, the optimizer. And then, then you can use the Scenario Manager to compare both runs with and without LIDs. So thank you for listening, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this particular video. Thank you.